Now, while other East African states have completely halted the use of commercial uh, drones, Rwanda has taken a different approach. Entirely ziplining drone logistics a company will begin deliveries of blood to far-flung remote parts of the country later this year. Delivered by a fleet of small and manned vehicles. And Raman Young spoke to Laura Lane, the head of public affairs at UPS, to find out why the logistics a company has invested time and personnel in backing ziplines enterprise. UPS, obviously, we've got the logistics expertise. We know how to manage logistics movements to make sure they're uh, timely, cost-effective, and done in the most efficient ways. Um, we also have um, experts that um, we have deployed, uh, for example, to work at Gave to help understand the needs of um, the industry in terms of distribution of vaccines and trying to find the solutions for reaching those populations that uh, until now haven't been able to be reached. And so um, Gave was a natural partner for us and we put one of our logistics in with Gave to better understand the needs and that's what developed the idea about how to develop more effective logistics capabilities for the delivery of um, vaccines, pharmaceuticals and life's other life-saving products. So they provide the tech, mm -hmm. you provide the logistics know-how because yeah. that's what you do. Are you putting any money into it? Yes, yeah. we, we of course are. So we put $800,000 in seed money um, into the project to help um, facilitate uh, the development of of the zip lines meeting the logistics requirements that we know from our conversations with Gavi and the Rwandan government and then pulled that all together um, to make sure that this service could launch and it's going to launch in July. Right. This is the part I'm really curious about. Why why Rwanda? Because why I know in, Rwanda, in the Kenyan yeah. in the Kenyan context I know the civil aviation authorities there have been pretty conservative when it mm -hmm. comes to how they regulate UAVs commercial use and even the ownership of drones is a you know completely different story um, was it perhaps easier for a company like Zipline to set up here mm -hmm. as opposed to anywhere else in East Africa so I would say that it has to do a lot with um, the Rwandan framework that has been laid out they have rule of law they have transparency in terms of their regulations. They have investment protections. Uh, there's a bilateral investment treaty between the United States and Rwanda. They have intellectual property right protections built in here. And, um, and those are a fundamental foundation for bringing new technologies into any kind of location. So what's, um, what's, what's the timeline then? Because we're starting now with blood deliveries, um, right. delivering time-bound goods, essentially, right. and which are also relatively small. But how do you, do you take this product and scale it up? So um, right now our uh, objective is to launch this service uh, to allow for 150 deliveries a day mm -hmm. starting up in probably the July time frame to these 21 different transfusion facilities up in the western part of Rwanda that are very hard to reach. Seeing how the trials work, um, seeing um, how the process is working in terms of uh, are we getting the deliveries there just in time, is it meeting the needs. And of course looking and at the workflow as well yes. because from say for example the time a doctor lifts up the phone and says I need X number of liters of AB positive blood mm -hmm. from one location can you get it to me now yeah right. and you know what our, our answer to that is we can do it in 15 minutes or less um, and that's the amazing part about these drones is we've got two launch facilities to cover the Rwandan territory from which we can serve any location within 15 minutes um, and that's pretty that's amazing a very very fast isn't turnaround. that amazing it's amazing yeah and when you think about it when it's when your life's on the line yeah. um, uh, you know you want it then uh, you know quickly yeah. and um, this drone technology is making that possible now if you scale it out right and you go to other locations we'll have to um, in bigger territories have more launch facilities and more warehousing of essential medical products um, but I think there's a lot of possibilities with this